Hello and welcome to a video presentation on the powers of 10. What you'll learn is how to multiply and divide by powers of 10 with positive exponents. First of all, what are powers of 10? Well, powers of 10 are just exponents with a base of 10. Since we live in a world that typically uses base 10, applying exponents to a base of 10 just moves the decimal point around in our numbers. Multiplying a number by a power of 10 with a positive exponent moves the decimal point in the number to the right. Let's take this problem, 13 times 10 to the second power. First, let's solve the problem by just multiplying the numbers. Then we'll do it by moving the decimal point around. Take the 13, multiply it by 10 to the second power, which is 10 times 10. Simplify the problem to 13 times 100, multiply those two factors together, and the answer is 1,300. Now let's solve the problem by moving the decimal. Write down the 13 from above and locate the decimal in the number. Every number has a decimal, so if you don't see one, as we don't in this number, place it at the end. Now the exponent 2 in the number above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right. So let's move the decimal point two places to the right. 1, 2. And finish the problem by filling in the empty spaces with zeros. The answer is 1,300, the same as we got doing it by multiplying the numbers together. Let's do another problem. Find the product of 725 times 10 to the fourth. We start by writing down the 725 from above and locate the decimal in the number. Now remember, every number has a decimal. Where are you going to place it if you don't see one? That's right, it's at the end. Now the exponent 4 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right since we're multiplying. So we move the decimal point four places to the right. One, two, three, four. And finish the problem by filling in the empty spaces with zeros. So 725 times 10 to the fourth is 7,250,000. Now, here's a warning, common error that a lot of people make. When multiplying by powers of 10, Many people make the mistake of believing the exponent in the power of 10 is telling them how many zeros to add to the end of the number. After all, that worked for our last two examples, but it only works if the decimal in the number is at the end of the number, as it was in our last two examples. So to get the correct answer every time, you should always move the decimal point first, then fill with whatever number of zeros you need in the empty spaces. So let's do this problem. Find the product of 8.54 times 10 to the third power. We start by writing down the 8.54 from above. We know where the decimal is, so we don't need to locate it. The exponent 3 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the right. So we move the decimal point three places to the right. 1, 2, 3 and finish the problem by filling the empty spaces with zeros. We didn't add three zeros this time, did we? We just added one. And the answer is 8,540. So always remember to move the decimal place first, then fill with zeros. Now let's divide by powers of 10. Here's 13 divided by 10 to the second power. Dividing a number by a power of 10 that has a positive exponent moves the decimal point in the other direction, or to the left. We can write the problem as a fraction, since fractions are division problems. 13 divided by 10 to the second power. And we can expand 10 to the second, so we have 13 over 10 times 10. 10 times 10 is 100, so we have 13 over 100. And whether you use your calculator or you get out a pencil and paper and divide longhand, your answer is going to be 0 0.13. So 13 divided by 10 to the second is 0 0.13. 
Now let's solve the problem by moving the decimal. Write down the 13 from above. Locate the decimal in the number. Remember, every number has a decimal. If you don't see one, you're going to put one where? At the end. Exactly. Very good. Now the exponent 2 in the number above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left this time because we're dividing. So let's move the decimal two places to the left. One, two. And finish the problem by adding a zero in the front of the decimal. You should always put a zero in front of a decimal if there are no other numbers there. And the answer is the same as the last problem, 0 0.13. Let's do another one. Find the quotient 725 divided by 10 to the first power. We start by writing down 725 from above. Locate the decimal in the number. We know it's going to be at the end because we don't see one. Now the exponent 1 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left. So we move the decimal point one place to the left. One. And the answer is 72.5. Now let's try this one. Find the quotient of 8.54 divided by 10 to the third. Start by writing down the 8.54 from above. Now the exponent 3 in the power of 10 above tells us how many times to move the decimal point to the left, because remember we're dividing this time. So move the decimal point three places to the left. One, two, three. And finish the problem by filling in empty spaces with zeros. We'll have two zeros behind the decimal point, and don't forget to put one in front. So the answer is 0 0.00854. Now in summary, when multiplying by powers of 10 with a positive exponent, use the exponent to determine how many times to move the decimal point in the number to the right. When dividing by powers of 10 with a positive exponent, use the exponent to determine how many times to move the decimal point in the number to the left. That's all there is to it. Congratulations, you've learned how to multiply and divide by powers of 10 with positive exponents.